Yeah, look, I think that's where we've probably <coughs> lost a couple of the games here. Yeah? Um, if I think about it, the first game in Perth, they got 102 in the last 10. Um, we didn't finish well with the bat today. We didn't. We were 49 for I think three in the last 10. They were 89 for one in nine. So I suppose when two good sides play against each other, those type of um, mistakes are always going to be exposed, and we, we left ourselves short at the back end with bat and with ball. We we're probably 20 runs short today from where we should have been. Particularly with the ball, I suppose um, it's very difficult with just the four fielders out. Um, uh, they've, they bat a long way down. They've got a lot of depth in their batting. Um, they were probably a lot cleverer than us in the back end with the ball in terms of the lengths they bowl. Their change up of pace is really good. Um, and we just, with the, with, with the bat, we just probably didn't play smart enough, probably looked for a few too many boundaries and not enough ones and twos in these big fields. Um, so a lot of learning for us there for that, uh, particularly in that uh, phase of the game. Is there a significant setback as far as um, preparations for three months time is concerned? No, I wouldn't say it's a setback. It's, it's, it's just made us realise that um, it's probably a good thing because we always get spoken up before these events and when we got here we've probably been spoken up a lot as well so that's a great reminder for us how much work still lies ahead before we can uh, seriously challenge that competition in three months time. Yeah I think he just fell badly on his rib and I think he took a blow there in one of the one days early on in the series um, and maybe just a bit of bad bruising but I think he should be okay. I hope. <laughs> now he'll be fine. Yeah, look, I think uh, we're playing five games in 10 days, and I think just to, ref to freshen up the bowling attack, um, a lot of pressure, uh, a lot of intensity, a lot of travelling, short change up in between games. I think it was a, we wanted to change up the bowling attack and put a fresh attack out there, but also to have a look at some other options. Um, we've had a look at Dale and Vernon and, and Mornay together as a unit, so we wanted to have a look at a different bowling unit and see what our other options are. No, he's, look, he's obviously... He's playing very well at the moment. He's on top of his game, and it's probably one of the better one-day hundreds um, we've had. Uh, well, one of the better hundreds that have been scored against us for a period of time now. So he's obviously a big player for Australia at the moment, and um, we've got to make sure our, our plans are, are in place when we do when we do play against him in two-day time. Yeah, look, I think um, obviously not having JP here with his experience is a is a is a big loss for us, but it's. It's afforded us an opportunity to, to look at the, some other batting options. A guy like Farhan who's done domestically, done extremely well domestically, he's had a look in and we've had a look at what he can offer. Um, and I don't think it's about firepower, we just need to make sure we've got batters in at the back end. Um, AB probably got out one or two overs before we needed him to um, and then there was a little bit of indiscriminate batting I suppose. I thought we probably needed to get a few more ones and twos at the back end of our innings and it's things we've spoken a little bit about so maybe we weren't clever enough for the bat at the back end today which probably cost us 20 or 30 runs because we're probably looking at closer to two, 300 at one stage. Look I think um, have, not having JP has been a, a very good exercise for us. Um, has afforded us an opportunity to look at some other options, look at, look at our depth um, and definitely we'll see as an opportunity to look at one or two other options. Um, it's all part of trying to find the right group of players to go to the World Cup with, and it's another opportunity to try and see what the right group is on, on Sunday. No, it's very difficult to say. Look, uh, obviously domestic T20s are being played at home at the moment, and um, it's a, with, without being disrespectful, it's a, it's a big difference playing in a domestic T20 competition and playing in a World Cup. So. Performances there are very important, but we we sort of know the, the group of players that we are looking at and want to try and keep it. It's not a close shot by no means, um, but we're pretty close to, to finalising what we think the, the 15 is that we probably want to go forward with.